That was that exclusive letter that we have now obtained that the University of Idaho sent to the parents of all four of the victims of the Idaho student murders at 1122 King Road. And it has to do with the future of that home and what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. It's extremely sad um, because this is such a, I mean, this is just a, it's still a mysterious tomb, if you think about it. So many of the possessions of the kids are still in the home. And the university wanted to address that with the family as well. Um, not only the plan for the house of demolition and remediation, but also uh, reclaiming what's what's left. And there is reaction as well from the families, which I'm going to give you in a moment. I just want to read this letter to you, word for word, without any editing. Okay, it begins this way. I am the acting general counsel for the University of Idaho and oversee the legal services for the university. I first want to express my condolences to each of you for the tragic loss that you've suffered. I greatly appreciate the positive manner in which you have interacted with the university in the aftermath of this tragedy. I am writing to communicate to each of you regarding the university's plans for the house at 1122 King Road, as was conveyed to you by Dean of Students, Blake Eccles, the homeowner gifted the house to the university with the intent by both parties that it be demolished. Before doing so, we will complete remediation within the house to address biohazards and chemical hazards that exist as a result of the crimes and ensuing investigation. At the completion of the remediation, we intend to have the remediation team gather any items of personal property that do not appear to be contaminated and transfer them to university personnel who will take these items to a secure off-site location for representative members of the families to review and recover items of your family members that you wish to keep. Items not selected will then be properly disposed of. This will not apply to large bulky items such as sofas, beds, or the like, to the extent that any remain on site. If you have specific items you wish to be on the lookout for, regardless of size, please let me know. If we can locate and retain them for you, we will. We intend to proceed with demolition as soon after completion of the remediation as can be done. We do not yet have a specific date for when this will occur. We will notify you of the demolition date in advance so you are not caught by surprise by media reports. In the interim, we are making every effort to respect the dignity of your loved ones and our activities will be done outside of media scrutiny as much as possible. The house is currently surrounded by construction fencing. The windows and doors have been securely boarded, and we are not allowing access into the house by anyone not specifically authorized by the university. Anyone authorized to enter the house will be required to agree to strict non-disclosure and will be prohibited from taking photographs or otherwise recording the inside. This communication constitutes the university's formal notice to you of our intention to proceed with remediation and demolition as described above. If you have any concerns with these plans, please contact me by April 3rd of 2023. We will address those prior to proceeding. If you have retained legal counsel, I encourage you to share this communication, notifying you of the proposed plans. You or your counsel may contact the Office of General Counsel via email, that's redacted, or call me at the phone number listed below, which I've redacted, to discuss any concerns or objections that you may have. Once again, I want to express my deepest sympathy and my condolences to each family member. It is my hope that the university's plan to remove the house helps you in your healing. A reply indicating you have received this email would be greatly appreciated. And the letter is signed by the acting counsel at the University of Idaho. So that had to be processed by the family members. They have to either respond, at least to tell them that they've received the, um, this email, um, and then also if they have any concerns about the plans for remediation and demolition, and then if they have any specific items that they would like to point the university to um, for retrieval. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.